secret of life. Hallelujah. Um, I have a scripture which I want to cite and then I will pray. And that is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse uh, 21. He said, if any man put himself, uh, he will become a vessel unto honor, made for the master's use. A vessel unto honor, made for the master's use. There are vessels, but there are vessels unto honor. I have another scripture to cite again. That is John chapter 12 verse 26. It says, He that uh, 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 served me, let him follow me. He that served me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall my servant be. And whosoever served me shall my father honor. The first scripture I cited mentioned honor. This one also measured honor. And all is about serving God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you one thing uh, I, I would like to share with you as a secret. Somebody from childhood, for the last time. you know, after primary school, uh, secondary school, graduated, I went to service. Well, in the service, as a youth couple, he mixed up with uh, other people, Yorubas and uh, whatever you can call them. And in their movement and activities, they discovered that this very uh, young person who had graduated is still a vision. And they were looking at him like uh, it's not a human being, it's a spirit. That's how they were looking at him. It is a person, they can't understand that somebody from his youth to graduation as a youth copper, but he still a vision. Praise the Lord. I'm talking about a, a vessel unto honor. 
and I'm talking about my son, Smart. Are you hearing me? Yes, Young people, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yeah. I say this because uh, I have to reveal sec a secret to you. If you are going to get to your destination, God said, if any man punch himself, he will become a vessel unto honor. Not just a vessel, unto honor. Men for the master's use. And uh, whosoever served me like you are doing now, uh, let him follow me. And uh, wherever I am, there shall my servant be. And whosoever served me shall my father honor. When God honors you in life, you are settled. Because whatever you say, God confirms it. Whatever you utter as a word, God confirms it. Even as I will say some things now, God confirms what I say. God honors my word. Are you hearing me? I know what to pray. Can you now come together as I say things in the word of prayer? You can draw closer, draw closer, all of you. Draw closer. Yes. I want to pray. Go with this very two ways I spoke to you, and uh, two scriptures are just cited. You must be honored in life. Amen. You will become a vessel unto honor, pronounced, known in the world. I'm saying it, and it's going to be confirmed. Amen. Known, not only in Nigeria, in the world. Amen. Why? Because God is going to honor you as you position yourself for honor by purging yourself according to the word of God. I now pray for you. Close your eyes, bow your heads. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I don't need to call this name two times for something to happen here. Because this name is never called in vain. I have never tried it to call this name in vain. If I do that, I sin against you. I have a reason for calling on your name. These are the young ones whom you, God, have chosen. And by having chosen these ones, oh God, you will honor them. Amen. They will become a vessel unto honor. Amen. In this life, God, the world will not buy them. Amen. But because you are looking for the people that you are going to use in this world, and these are the people, you will lay hands on them and use them Amen. in their own time, in their own generation, Amen. and it will be known that God honors people here on the earth. Amen. Whatever they utter as a word of prayer or command or as a thing, you honor their words in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you honor their words, Jehovah God, the world will know about them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, from now forward, these ones will have this date in the history of their lives. Amen. Because something will begin to happen that they will remember this date, 20th November. Amen. Something that will make this date remarkable. Amen. In the life history of these ones shall be happening. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Physically, spiritually, materially, it shall be happening. Amen. God, you have revealed it and it's going to be so. Amen. I stand here to confirm, Jehovah God, that you have just raised these ones for yourself. In their lives, in their families, and in whatever they lay their hands to do, Jehovah God, you will honor them. Father, thank you because you hear my prayers. Whatever stands for shame and is former, cannot find these ones. In Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, have your way in your lives. Father, whom you honor Jehovah God, you prosper. Amen. Whom you honor succeeds. Yes, whom you honor cannot fail. Yes, whom you honor will become a because signs and wonders will follow whom you honor. Amen. Signs and wonders will follow these ones in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, you are glorified. Glorified in their health, in their in their family, and in whatever they do, Jehovah, 
Thank you, God, for hearing my prayers. For I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands upon your head now. Lay your hand upon your heads. Heavenly Father, the anointing that confirms your word, anointing of confirmation will come upon this world. Father, it's not going to be a story. It's going to be real. People will see and they will say, it has happened. Thank you, Jesus. The miracle that will confirm your word will follow this word from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Surprises, miracles, signs and wonders. We follow this one from today. Amen. Because you said in your word, this sign is a follow you. Amen. This signs will follow this one in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you for hearing my prayers. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for Jesus.